G'day brothers and sisters, how are you going? Chris here, and I've got another Bible review. And the Bible review that I'm looking at tonight is of this humongous study Bible, the Dake Annotated Reference Bible. I got a lot of surprises when I looked at this. If I just open it up, first of all, I'll read to you from the cover here. It's a three-column format with text. I'm going to show you that in a minute, so stick around. And notes on the same page. It's got a complete concordance that lists every single word in the entire Bible. It's got more than 9,000 headings. It's got 35,000 commentary notes. It's got more than 8,000 outlines for sermons and literalizing of scripture, definitions of key Hebrew and Greek words, a massive summary at the end of each book. It's got an easy fingertip fact finder built in, and it's got over half a million, that's right, half a million helpful cross-chain references for study. The very first thing that I want you to notice about this Bible is that it is huge. This is possibly the heaviest study Bible I've ever held. Now, I'll just show you something in comparison. Oh, by the way, it comes in a really sturdy box. Okay, here's my Thompson Chain reference. It's a large print Bible. Notice what I put on the front, the answer book because that's what God's Word is. Now, folks, look at the two side by side. Can you see how much bigger this is? And if you look at it that way, it is absolutely humongous. Before we go and we look on the inside of this Bible, I want to show you something that I've never ever seen on any bonded leather Bible. Now, here's an illustration. This is my Thompson Chain reference. And if I open it up, it, it's very stiff. This has just got the El Cheapo cover. Hey, aren't you glad that our God is El Shaddai and not El Cheapo? You get that for free. But this is, you know, beautiful Bible, but the cover's not that great. But the cover is not that great. And of course, it's bonded leather. This is also bonded leather. Folks, look at this. Look at that. It just flops open just like it's a cowhide or a lambskin cover. I've never seen this before on any bonded leather Bible. So number one, the quality of the build of this, I'm really, really impressed. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's beautifully uh, put together. I love the way that it just flops open like that. That is something that you normally only see in a lambskin version. Now, guys, there is one thing that I'd like to take Dake to task with. So don't go away. I'm just going to get something and show it to you. The Dake Bible, they advertised this cover. This cover, $26. And they said that the cover was genuine leather. If it is, it is the thinnest leather known to man. And as far as being any good, this cover is like putting a piece of thin plastic on your Bible. Uh, if anybody from Dake Bibles is watching this video, you should be ashamed of yourself, guys, to charge $26 for this cover. This is an absolute ripoff. It's just as well that the box is really good, really sturdy. I'm going to be keeping the box. After this video, this cover's going in the bin. It is hands down the worst quality Bible cover I have ever seen in my life. Can you see how it, it's so thin? You can just wrap it up like that. And there is no way in the world that anybody in their right mind would feel good about putting their Bible in this. It would just slide out. It is an absolute tacky, really, really, really cheap cover. If I'd have paid $5 for this, I would have felt ripped off. $26.99, there's no justification for that. All I can think is that someone was asleep at the wheel when they okayed this Bible cover. 
Okay, you say that's pretty straightforward. While I'm from Australia, guys, we tell it like it is. Let's have a look on the inside of the Date Bible and then we'll see what else there is for you to know about this Bible. Okay, guys, let me just give you a bit of a size comparison. This Bible here, that's my large print King James Version. This Bible here that I've done a video about before and said that's a really heavy Bible, that's my large print Thompson chain reference Bible. And this one here, <laughs> that is the Dake Annotated Reference Bible. It is absolutely humongous compared to these other Bibles. Okay, let's take a look inside this Bible. First of all, when you open this Bible up, I'm struck with how soft the binding is. Then you have several pages here of very thick paper for you to create notes on. The paper that's here for the notes is absolutely excellent. You've got an introduction to the Bible, of course, you've got the preface, and then, of course, you have the actual text of the Bible itself. Now, what you'll notice with this Bible is you'll have two columns that are the scriptures, and they are boxed in, and then all of the rest is notes. Now, guys, this is a very easy to read font. I have to have a large print version, and I have absolutely no problem whatsoever in reading this font. Something that I really love about this Bible is you have a really exhaustive summary of each book. This is all the summary, for example, on the book of Psalms. You've got page after page of notes. You've got Hebrew and Greek uh, insights. Of course, Greek insights for the New Testament, Hebrew and Aramaic for the Old Testament. And this is just a study Bible that will give you hours and hours of pleasure, hours of delight as you go through. You can really get into the meat of the word utilizing this. It's got some fantastic lists. Can you see here? We've got 30 facts and sufferings of the Messiah, 21 reasons to wait on God. You've got over here 30 blessings of God, 25 pure things. And apparently, uh, Finnis Dake was known for creating lots of lists based upon scripture topics. And I actually like that aspect of this Bible very much. I've just been highlighting a few here that I'm going to be teaching from. There you go. We've got uh, 16 Associates of Truth. 10 things that are truth and 10 blessings of truth. And so this is a really amazing Bible when it comes to the copious amounts of notes. Now, if we go towards the back of the Bible, I just want to show you something here. Uh, what we've got nearly there, I'm actually going through a whole study on the book of Revelation at the moment. Again, here's uh, part of the summary of Revelation notes, and there's just heaps of stuff. Now, you might not agree with everything that Dake has to say about the end times. I don't, but nonetheless, it makes very interesting reading. I subscribe to the theory that we should eat the chicken and spit the bones out. And so here we go. There's a whole lot here, New Testament commands, New Testament promises, Bible plagues. There's just so much information here. Here's a whole bunch of New Testament questions, every question in the New Testament. It makes fascinating reading. More New Testament questions, 370 different kinds of sins committed and recorded in the Scripture. And then it's got the complete concordance to the Bible, and this has every single word used in the Bible. Quite fascinating. Every single word. And then, of course, if you go towards the back of this Bible, nearly there, folks, just stay with me, you've got a whole lot of charts and uh, dakes 
Brother Dake was a dispensationalist and it makes interest in reading to go through and see the various charts. Now, guys, this is a humongous Bible. It's very heavy. It's not the kind of Bible uh, that you would feel particularly physically comfortable with carrying around. It'd certainly end up with one massive arm muscle on one side of your body. But for a study Bible, this is great. Now, I would like to say this. This is not a Bible, definitely not a Bible for a new convert. Because, well, Dake shares a lot of great stuff in this Bible, but he also has a lot of information that you might not agree with. And I think for a new convert, this would be completely overwhelming. This is the kind of Bible for somebody who is seasoned in the Word. You know the Word well enough to take what Dake is saying in his notes, okay, and to weigh it up, because on this particular page, let's just have a look here. This is the, uh, the Scripture. That's the Word of God. And there's all Dake's notes. And you need to have the discernment to know when, well, that's an interesting point, and to know when he's getting into error. For example, Dake was a tritheist. Beyond any shadow of a doubt, this guy believed in three separate and distinct beings in the Godhead. And I mean three separate persons. And then he took it a step further and he says in there, that they each had their own spirit and soul and body. And of course, uh, a very famous evangelist was pulled up a few years back because he was teaching that there were nine people in the Godhead. Now, as an apostolic Christian, I believe there's only one God, only one. The command of the Shema to Israel is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, not nine, not three, not half a dozen, one. And so you need to be grounded in the scripture. You need to be seasoned in the word. But if you are, there is enough nuggets in this Bible to give you hours of pleasure. So remember, the Dake Annotated Reference Bible. This is the large print edition. I'm going to put a link to where I got it from uh, in the description below. But guys, whatever you do, under no circumstances, order this flimsy, floppy, useless cover that is going straight in the bin after I do this video. $26, it is, it's just beyond disgraceful. This is absolutely so flimsy. You might as well go and get a, a plastic shopping bag from your local supermarket and wrap your Bible in that. As use this. And as for Dake saying this is a quality leather cover, absolute hogwash. But the rest of it, man, this is one good Bible. Go and grab yourself a copy. Thanks for watching, guys.